Hey there, it's Ryan. Today, I'm super excited to share something that I think a lot of you will find incredibly useful. Have you ever been stuck with a phone that just won't work with a different carrier's SIM card? It's super frustrating, right? Well, I've been there too. I remember when I first switched carriers and realized my phone was locked. Talk about a headache. But don't worry, I've got you covered. In today's video, we're diving into the world of unlocking mobile phones, specifically how to unlock your Mint mobile phone. And honestly, this works for any carrier, no matter where you are in the world or what brand your phone is. This isn't just about one carrier or one phone model. It's a universal solution for both Android and iOS devices. So whether you're trying to switch networks or just want the freedom to use any SIM card, this video is for you. Let's get started and unlock the full potential of your phone. Just a quick heads up before we dive in. This info is for responsible use only. It's meant for folks who legitimately own their phones and just want to switch carriers. We're not here to encourage or support any shady stuff like messing with security on stolen devices. Always play by the rules and respect others' rights. And of course, everything we're doing here is totally in line with YouTube's guidelines and community standards. All right, with that said, let's get right into it. Quick note in the middle of our tutorial. It's important to know that the unlock services we're talking about mainly work in first world countries. But hey, if you can't access these services or prefer not to use them, we've got something special for you. Every week, we offer 250 free unlocks to our viewers. Here's how you can be one of them. Like this video, hit that thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, drop a comment with your phone model, like Samsung S22, your IMEI number, and the country you're in. That's it. Once you've done these steps, you're automatically entered into our weekly unlock giveaway. It's that simple, so don't miss out. Let's dive right into how to use Carrier Switcher. First up, you'll need to head over to their website, carrierswitcher.com. Once you're there, look for a green button. That's your gateway to start the process. Now you'll be asked to enter your name and email. Make sure to use a real email address here because they'll send you a confirmation code and you're going to need that. Next step is selecting the manufacturer of your device. It could be Samsung, Apple, or any other brand you're using. Once you've done that, it's time to enter your IMEI number. If you're wondering how to find your IMEI, it's pretty straightforward. On most modern phones, you can just dial star hashtag 06 hashtag and your IMEI will pop up on the screen. Jot it down and enter it into the site. After entering the IMEI, there's a bit about agreeing to their terms of service. It's crucial to confirm that you're not unlocking stolen property. Always good to be on the right side of things, right? Once you've agreed to the terms, hit continue to finalize your request. You'll see a confirmation on the site that your unlock is ready, and they'll also send a confirmation email to you. In that email, you'll find detailed instructions and an access key. This key is pretty awesome. You can use it as many times as you like for unlimited downloads. Just follow the instructions in the email on how to use this access key. And for the final part, if you need any help on how to proceed with the access key, just follow the steps outlined on their page. They've made it really user-friendly, so you shouldn't have any trouble. If you're looking for other ethical and legal ways to remove the carrier lock from your phone, you've got a few options to consider. Let's walk through them. One common method is to directly contact your mobile carrier. Most carriers will unlock your phone for free if you've completed your contract or paid off your phone. It's as simple as giving them a call or visiting their website. You'll need to provide some information like your account details and your phone's IMEI number. Once everything checks out, they'll process your request and you'll receive instructions on how to unlock your phone. This process can take a few days, so a bit of patience is needed. Another option is to use a third-party unlocking service. These services can unlock your phone for a fee. It's important to choose a reputable service to ensure it's done legally and ethically. Read reviews and check their track record. They'll also need your phone's IMEI number and will provide instructions on how to unlock your phone once they've processed your request. For those who are a bit tech savvy, there's also the DIY route. Some online tutorials and tools can guide you through the process of unlocking your phone. This requires a bit more effort and technical know-how, so it's not for everyone. Plus, you'll want to make sure you're following legal and ethical guidelines, so do your research thoroughly. Remember, while unlocking your phone, it's crucial to make sure you're doing it legally and ethically. 
always follow the terms and conditions set by your carrier or the unlocking service. And never try to unlock a phone that you don't legally own. And that's a wrap. Thanks so much for sticking with us through this guide. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button. It really helps us out. And if you haven't already, subscribing to our channel will keep you updated with all our latest content. Got any questions or did everything work out smoothly for you? We'd love to hear about your experience, so please drop a comment below. Your feedback is super valuable and it helps us create better content for you in the future. Thanks again for watching, and we hope to see you in the next video.